Welcome to Creamy Spinach and Ricotta Pancakes. So we're gonna base this on the traditional French savory soca pancake, which is based on chickpea flours. These take 10 minutes to make, they're incredibly delicious, and here we go. First step, we're gonna make our creamy ricotta. So we have a pan here, and this is the spinach base, so I'm gonna wilt the spinach. So I'm putting the pan on high heat. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in it, just because we don't want this to fry. So this, is, this will be the water which will steam the spinach. In goes 100 grams of spinach. Try to get organic if you can. In that goes, might seem like a whole lot of spinach, but that'll wilt down to nothing. And then I'm just putting a lid on to trap that steam that's gonna come up, which will wilt our spinach. So while that's wilting, I have 100 grams of cashew nuts, which I have soaked for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna drain and rinse these. It's really important we rinse them because it removes some of the acid. So in goes our 100 grams of soaked cashew nuts. So there was 100 grams prior to soaking, so it'll be end up around 150 grams, one soaked. In they go. I have 100 ml of water, pinch of salt, kind of generous-ish pill, pinch, uh, and a pinch of garlic powder. We're gonna pit, put the lid on and blend this until it's super smooth and creamy. So I blended that until it's lovely and smooth. So there's our spinach, you'll see it's wilted beautifully. I turn the heat off here, I'm just gonna pour it all in into one just so it ends up, you can see what it looks like there. So I'm just gonna fold the, the spinach and the creamy ricotta together. If I want it to be a little bit thicker, I'm gonna just leave it reduced for a second. So I'm putting this on the heat and I'm just gonna bring it to the boil. I just want it to thicken up a little bit because I don't want our pancakes to go soggy. Uh, so just reduce it until it starts to come together and any excess water from the spinach or the cashew cream has melted away. So there's our simple spinach ricotta uh, creamy filling. I'm gonna leave that aside. Okay, time to make our sucker pancakes. So take a non-stick pan, I'm gonna put it on medium heat. While that's happening, let's make our pancakes. So into a large bowl, I have a sieve. I have 120 grams of chickpea flour. If you don't have chickpea flour and you can't get a hold of it, use whatever flour you have. But traditionally, uh, in sucker pancakes, a chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is higher in protein, and if you know that it has this wonderful yellow texture, and because it's higher in protein, you end up with this lighter, quite a fluffy, almost kind of egg-like pancakes. It is quite remarkable. So the reason why I sieve it is that chickpea flour has a tendency to clump together and it just ends up with a lighter batter. So I have one teaspoon of baking powder. Again, through the sieve if you can. I have a generous pinch of salt. So it's probably the equivalent of about half a teaspoon, a little bit less. I have two teaspoons of ground flaxseed. So this is gonna function as the binder. Uh, and lastly, I have some veg stock. Just mix all that together with your hand. Create a well in the middle. In goes our veg stock. Don't worry if it seems like lots. You just whisk all that together. So once your pan is hot, you just hold your hand above it, you should be able to feel it. You see it's slightly starting to smoke. If you don't want to do these without oil, work away, but I'm gonna put a, little, a few sprays of just any type of oil. Uh, there's the first one there. I think it's really important that you use a silicone spatula. Even the smell off it, it smells kind of nice and almost eggy. Um, so silicone spatula just makes it a lot easier to make sure you get in underneath it. So once your pan does get nice and hot, literally they'll only take a minute or two just until they cook through. So now the way I like to serve it, because this is a savory pancake, just give them a nice generous serving of ricotta in the middle. I love a little bit of chili on it. Et boom, voila. Ça c'est les crêpes. They suck a crepe. So I love to roll it up like that. And then we go, ready? Oh, wow. Like, check out that texture. Like, it, it genuinely tastes like an eggy pancake. It's creamy. It's crispy. It's delicious. It's highly nutritious. It's low in oil. Dudes, this is rocking. C'est magnifique, c'est délicieux. Du doigt. Asaye, asaye, I think it's to try it. Uh, anyway, lots of love. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you're doing great during this time and sending all our love. Cheers.